We're going to use a size 18 or 14 or 16. You can pick. And I use 2x long, 3x strong. And that will make it the fly sink very slowly. It'll float for maybe a foot or two, and then it'll start sinking real slowly, which represents the, how the real bug, the real ant, would sink at what rate. Okay, we're gonna make the two humps that represent the ant body. We're gonna start with the back hump. And you know it's gonna be a lot bigger than the front one if you ever looked at an ant. So we'll make the back hump first. tie in some of that more of that floaty yarn we love so much here and this is in black I'm gonna take about five strands of that you know we looped that over the thread already and we'll tie that in figure eight same way you would tie in a, a spinner wing a figure eight it flat And here's what it looks like when you're done. See it lays just wing leg, the legs lay out, just like a spinner wing. And that's what we want it to look like, right there. If I open up my arms, I can see the now we're gonna tie in the front little hump. Or what would you call the head maybe? I don't know. But you can tie in that front little hump. And then you're gonna tie that off. That's how you finish it. But we got a lot to do yet. Now we're gonna cut the legs off. I usually cut them off as long as the back section or the tail section or the first hump you made. Hope you like that fly easy. Couple only a couple materials. Um, make sure you get some of these in your box. Make sure you check out Tracy's channel where he, where he show you these flies in action. Um, keep your lines wet, out of trees, and uh, you know they're asking. Well, anyway, only give them fish and sort of a good day. Peace.